We are still on the concept of exponential functions, its graphs, and its properties but on different forms. Let's consider an exponential function of the form y equals b times a to the x, where a is greater than 1. To understand fully exponential function of this form, let us complete the table of values, plot the points and graph the function. Example 1. Construct a table of values for f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x, and sketch the graph of the function in the coordinate plane. The table of values for the function f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x, shows the assigned values of x as the domain of the exponential function. From the table of values, we obtained the following set of ordered pairs, negative 3 and 3 eighths, negative 2 and 3 fourths, negative 1 and 3 halves, 0 and 3, 1 and 6, 2 and 12, 3 and 24. Then let's draw the graph of the exponential function f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x. One property of the graph is that, it passes the point, 0 and 3, or the graph has its y-intercept equals 3. Notice also that the graph approaches 0 as the value of x becomes smaller. From the table of values, it will never get a 0 value for y, meaning, the graph will not touch the x-axis or the line y equals 0. We shall now call this line the asymptote. We can see the trend of the graph. As it starts from the left side of the graph, notice that the graph increases from left to right. Thus, the trend of the graph of the exponential function is therefore increasing. This function is an increasing function. The domain x of an exponential function is the set of all x's, such that x is a real number. The range can be observed from the graph. The graph approaches 0 but never touches it. Let us make then 0 the boundary, or the graph is from y greater than 0 going up. Therefore the range is the set of all y's greater than 0. Let us now have the properties of the exponential function, f of x in the form y equals b times a to the x. And now for the other form, let's consider an exponential function of the form y equals b times a to the x plus c, where a is greater than 1. Example 2, construct a table of values for f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x plus 1, and sketch the graph of the function in the coordinate plane. The table of values for the function f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x plus 1, shows the assigned values of x as the domain of the exponential function.
From the table of values, we obtained the following set of ordered pairs, negative 3 and 11 eighths, negative 2 and 7 fourths, negative 1 and 5 halves, 0 and 4, 1 and 7, 2 and 13, 3 and 25. Then let's draw the graph of the exponential function f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x plus 1. One property of the graph is that, it passes the point, 0 and 4, or the graph has its y-intercept equals 4. Notice also that the graph approaches 1, as the value of x becomes smaller. From the table of values, it will never get a 1 value for y, meaning, the graph will not touch the line y equals 1. This line is the asymptote. We can see the trend of the graph. As it starts from the left side of the graph, notice that the graph increases from left to right. Thus, the trend of the graph of the exponential function is therefore increasing. This function is an increasing function. The domain x of an exponential function is the set of all x's, such that x is a real number. The range can be observed from the graph. The graph approaches 1 but never touches it. Let us make then 1, the boundary, or the graph is from y greater than 1 going up. Therefore, the range is the set of all y's greater than 1. To summarize the concept, let us now have the properties of the exponential function, f of x in the form y equals b times a to the x plus c. The preceding table is the table of properties of exponential functions in different forms where a is greater than 1. and for your tasks. First, draw the graph of an exponential function f of x equals b times a to the x plus c, where a is greater than 0, but less than 1. Given the function f of x equals 3 times 1 half raised to the x minus 1, construct the table of values. Sketch the graph, and determine its properties. Second, construct the table of properties of exponential functions in different forms where a is greater than 0, but less than 1. Thank you. Always be reminded that lessons like this will help develop thinking skills that will enable each one of you to become wiser in solving problems and formulating the best decisions.